Hi gang, this is Greg from Acme High Performance, and I'll give you a shop update. There's a lot of stuff that we've been working on here, and we haven't really kind of combed through what all that might be. So the Project Hot Rod Hauler trailer has been shelved over and over and over again. There's a couple more welds to do on this thing, and then we're going to get it painted and get the decking on it, get the uh, the winch on it, and then we'll be able to haul in the uh, the big body Mopars. There's a Mercedes that's getting a Raptor liner paint job. It's missing that eyelash piece under the headlight. I'm going to polish out the headlights, shoot this thing tomorrow, late morning, early afternoon, deliver it in the evening. They're going with uh, a really interesting purple color, too, which is going to be a lot of fun. But there was a little bit of collision damage. We had to pull the door jam out and things like that so that we can get the door to hang on the sucker. There's all the wood, Maceo. He went and he routed all that stuff and got all the stain on it and the sealer on it. So it's going to be really nice for that trailer. We've got to do some uh, cosmetic work on the building. Uh, we're hoping to have a welding party day that should have happened a couple weeks ago. But you know how it is when you get busy. We're going to make the Acme sign out of a bunch of old exhaust pipe pieces that we've got and do it in a font that says, you know, Acme with a M for the Mopar, which will be fun. Let's uh, see, uh, this guy here, we've got this Mercedes compressor, and uh, it's, got, it's got a new torque converter coming, new wheels and tires up in the loft already. TDI Volkswagen had a little bit of front-end collision damage. This one actually belongs to our partner Tweet, and that one's probably going to get done this next week, finally. Ah, uh, the Porsche. This is the Porsche that's getting the secret weapon engine. It's got a blown turbo engine in it. This is a Porsche Boxster hardtop convertible. Real cute 19 inch wheels and all of the nonsense. But it's got 100,000 miles on it. The headlights on the sucker are cooked through. They all do it and they're kind of ugly. So they're 1200 bucks to get a used set of them. $2,400 to get a new set of those things. That's really crazy. You can even get the OEM ones. I think it's like $3,600. Uh, and a Dodge truck. I know, I gotta get to the lift. It's here. So, we're gonna take these out, do an operation on them, and put Harley Davidson buckets. And we're going, I think, with the the Night Train or the Fat Boy projector headlights from the Harley Davidson are going in there. It's gonna be a really interesting mod for the guys at the Porsches. We're keeping the hard top for the convertible, but. This one's getting a 1969 Dodge 383 stroked out with the 440 crank and rods, some Keith Black pistons, which are not cheap. That brings it up to, well, depending on the, the honing requirements of the engine block, somewhere between 426 cubic inches. That would make it a baby max wedge on a B block, small big block, or 431. We're gonna go with cross ram induction. So in 1961, two, three, and four, the Dodge guys figured out how to use sound wave technology. You get a 30 inch runner, jams a whole column of air coming in, yeah, yeah, 3,000 RPMs or so. Pretty low for a big fat torque thing. That intake valve slams closed to go and complete its stroke, creates a shock wave. That shock wave, as the air begins to compress up against that back side of that closed valve, comes and rides the outside of the tube, comes back up 15 inches, hits a dead end spot, so it'll bounce back and forth. Harmonics. Those harmonics, the guys at Dodge were getting in 1961, 20% of a torque boost at 3,500 RPMs. So we're going to do the same thing, except I'm going to handcraft these things. We're going to test them a bunch of times before they go in. And it's going to have a plenum over here and a plenum over there, 30 inches from this cylinder head's backside of the valves, 30 inches from this one. We might tune it to like 32 inches or 28 inches. I'm going to make several pieces of them. We're going to throw them in a Mopar and test them out a few times. So we're going to have our uh, sound wave driven forced induction from a naturally aspirated engine from the top and our sound wave driven exhaust technology through the bottom to create massive amounts of scavenging. I don't want to give away all the secrets that we've developed for that system yet, but 
we're going to get a wall of torque, over 500 foot-pounds of torque. 24, 2500 RPMs, 26 max on the six-speed. This thing's going to pull wheelies. It's going to be crazy, and it's going to get in the mid-20s per gallon. We've got a real Hurst pistol grip shifter to put on. The Porsche guys hated the shifter. They hated the exhaust note. They hated those headlights. We're fixing all of those things. We've got a real pistol grip shifter from a 1967, 8, or 9 uh, B-body Mopar. So I'm going to fabricate that onto there. We're going to go with, for the finish mufflers, 1994 Dodge Viper side pipes, which do have a muffler in them. I'm putting in four catalytic converters, not just because we need to be environmentally friendly, but we do, but also because it helps drive that secret weapon of the exhaust system that we're going to get. The estimates on the exhaust-driven side alone, without including our secret weapon, those guys are reporting on their dynamometers approximately 8 to 12 PSI of free turbo boost. We're going to improve on that and it's going to work together with that induction system. The induction system, by the way, was developed in World War II, so that way our planes could outclimb the zeros when they came in. We had all that torque going up using the sound wave technology to get it in. Ah. And uh, let's see, there's a couple more things about this one. Everything that says Porsche is coming off because it's not going to be a Porsche anymore. It's going to be a Dodge. 19-inch wheels and tires, we're going to put them on something, and I'll probably rebuild that engine because people like it, and I'll put it in something. I don't know what, but... We're going to go with 1972 Dodge Reproduction Police Car Wheels and uh, hubcaps because, you know, like even anti-fascists like the Blues Brothers, like their Mopars with the cop motor and the cop tires. Nice, big, fat Goodyear Eagle GTs with the white letters on them. Porsche emblems all coming off. Harley Davidson headlights. Dodge Viper side pipes. Dodge Challenger shifter. We'll definitely be in the mid-20s per gallon. We're definitely going to be in really terrifyingly fast. And uh, the emissions will be reduced below what this thing was factory. And when they go to run it through DEQ, the OBD is going to work. The computer is going to work. The OEM factory computer, mostly stuck. And uh, their sniffers are going to they're gonna have a, uh, a cleaner report than what this thing was producing when it was new. We're going to improve its fuel economy. We're going to improve its power, and we're going to improve its emissions by throwing a 1969 big block engine in it. What do you think of that? Um, any other projects here? Oh, yeah. Graphics car. That one's getting new tubular A-arms, upper and lower, some other suspension links just to make things cleaner and tighter. I'm really excited about all of that. And that's, uh, that's about it. Uh, oh, here, let me show you the fire truck. There's a guy here who rents a space. I got this. And they say it runs and drives. And it's been here a long time. And the fire department. We're not going to touch it. I don't know the guy. But. I don't know, if we could pick something to do with it, maybe we'll trade him something fun for it. You guys have a good day.